Okay, today this is Computer Geek 976, and I'm going to show you how to do the old magic trick. Get your iPod songs off your iPod, or and on your iPod to your computer. As you can see, here it is. Look at my iPod with all that a lot of music on it. Ah, uh, this is crazy. Well, see, no, music. All music on my iPod and on my music library, nothing. All poopy. Now, what you do first is go to my computer. Now make sure our iPod shows up. Double click that. Now this comes. Go to Tools, Folder Options, View, and hit Show Hidden Things. Hit Apply. Hit OK. You have this new folder called iPod underscore Control. Double click. Now you have two things here that say music. Now you have a bunch of stuff. Go to music. A bunch of these weird folder names. Drag this on your desktop. I already did that because that takes a while because I have a lot of songs. Now go into one folder, and there's all of your music, containing all of your files, all of the music, but it has awkward names. So what you do is go to iTunes. Oh wait, there's a folder. No. All. And now go Control A and move them all onto your. Just drag them into the library window. iTunes is going to start to do something. iTunes knows this code, so it knows what it's doing. It knows how to get there. They'll show up in a sec. Hopefully. Oh, yep, and now the names are correct. Okay, pause. Oh, I guess the album artwork too. Okay, next, do that with the other two folders, so. This isn't really that hard, and it's easy to do. Do this one on the iPod. See, it, it even gives you the band, though, which is kind of weird, so you can not tell. Lincoln Park, stuff like that. On the library. And there you have that. And I'll do my last one. This is seriously because my iTunes completely reset. So I actually have to do this. Like it seriously reset. And then you can, uh, I can reset some for some reason, and it like died. And then when I went back into it, my songs were gone. So I just did this while well, I'm doing it now for your video. And now when you plug your iPod in the first time, make sure it doesn't say, you know, do not sync because then it'll put all the blankety blankiness of your library onto your iPod. There goes all your songs. That's taking forever. Jeez. Oh, here. No music. There you go, there you have it. I'll do the rest of mine later. I have more iPod tricks coming up my sleeve. And remember, check out the website. The link will be in the description.